third round of the 2011 BMW Championship, the third event of the PGA Tour playoffs for the FedEx Cup, Cog Hill Golf and Country Club, just outside of Chicago, Camilo Vijegas. This at the par 410th, a 386-yard hole, and from 74 out, Vijegas with a hole-out eagle two. He would have that in a pair of birdies on the inward half and still among the top 25, trying to play his way into the Tour Championship field. Here's Brendan DeYoung across the green. Eagle attempt, 66 feet, and he covers every inch of it. Eagle at 15 for Brendan DeYoung, and also with a strong finish on the inward half. Here's Sergio Garcia, par 5 15th, began his round at the 10th, and this he bounces off the flagstick and drops for an eagle. Garcia into the top 10 with a 67. Luke Donald right alongside. Donald looking for birdie at 11. He would have three birdies on each half of Cog Hill. 20 spot improvement for the Englishman. Keegan Bradley, PGA champion. Birdie attempt at 14. Bradley, a one under round. And staying right in the thick of things, sixth on the leaderboard as we head for the final day of play. Bill Haas also in position for a strong finish. Edge of the green, this at the 11th. And Haas would have four birdies and an eagle here at the 11th as he would move into the top three on the leaderboard. He's right alongside Jeff Ogilvie. Ogilvie looking for birdie at the par five 11th, trying to accomplish a couple of goals, making it into the Tour Championship field and also onto the President's Cup team. John Sendon, fellow Australian, the closing par for 18th. And Sendon, who was eight under to start the day, three bogeys on the front. Things were not going his way until he finished with four birdies coming in. So Sendon, solo second, trailing Justin Rose. Rose started the day with a share of the halfway lead. He was on the move early, birdies at four and five. This at the 13th would lead to his third birdie in the round. And now to preserve par at 18, Rose with a two under 69. He holds a four shot lead looking for his third win on tour as we head for the final round. Join us 12 o'clock Eastern on Golf Channel, followed by NBC's coverage at two o'clock Eastern.